the Euro League, where Sweden is going to clash against the France players. Okay. Okay, so like I said, this is the Euro League. It's going to be Sweden against France. And I am WTF Dead, the leader from the WTF clan. I'm gonna have some fun watching this stream. Let's set it up. Sweden is currently waiting for one player, the Elkist, and then it starts up. So going to spectator mode. Okay, so these guys are all stand-up pro players, they all have skills, and I'm expecting some serious actions. So if you don't know about this game, this is tactical which has just recently been released. I've been beta testing it, so... Okay, here we go. Starting up the match. I'm expecting some serious actions. It's going to get serious. So like I said, this game is called Tactical. It's a five versus five players game where you have two modes at the moment <clears throat> one is like a dead match mode where you have a bag and you get extra points for the bag over time and you also get two points per kill with a limitation of a time and then you can win by either have 100 points or you can win by the end of the time who has the most points the other modes that have been recently been released is uh, the zone controls, where you either play attack or you play defense and you have two zones which you either protect or you're trying to hold for 75 seconds. So, this game is actually pretty quick on the development, if I have to say so. And recently, like, a lot of players have joined the game, so uh, it's actually going from nothing but bot matches into some serious matches from now to then. Okay, this doesn't seem to be... Something seems to be up, so I have to wait for a second.
Yeah, and the game also has different uh, aspects to how to play it. As in, you have the weapon provinces, where it goes from the handgun to sniper to machine guns, assault rifles and light machine guns. You also have different of uh, explosions in the match starting up, which also can be used to different ends. And you have the different tactics where you could just camp out with a bag and wait for the enemies to come to you, or you could just rush them and attack them with the bag. It has multiple aspects and different ways of playing it. But I think the most important thing about the game is the team play, because uh, no matter how good your gear is or how skilled you are, if you end up with four shitty players and you have to play against a full geared, well-playing team, you're going to lose in the end. So that's also a different aspect of the game. Okay, here we go. Okay, right now I'm on Ritalini. Switching to Semich. He's guarding. What are these guys doing? Oh, they're gonna get on the car. They're yeah, going for a car attack. Ooh, what car got here? And then we'll take him out. Diasias is attacking, going for the back. Got poisoned, Ritalini. Oh, RFC has got the bag. It's RFC, Nazar is guarding with a snack. He's got a clear view of the whole situation. He's checking it out. There you have Diaz, Iaz with the back, and John Doof on the front with the machine gun. Oh, he's pulling out the RPGs. He's striking them. All kissed is coming in with the sloy. Opens up. Gets hit. John Doof is doing some serious damage. There you have Vitalini popping out the gas. Taken out by Swish Elite. Swish Elite hits him with the RPG. They're setting up something. These guys are flocked together, attacking, hitting him with the RPGs. Ooh, there's some casualties now. There is some casualties now. Ooh, Sweden seems to have taken the bag. Rambone is stuck in the corner, no cover. Ooh, will he make it out? Will he make it out? He has been taken out. Ooh, this is a tight battle. Well, Ritalini is rushing out with the bag. He is loose. Score is close, 31 to 38 with one minute and 47 to go. He is popping it all out. Okay, these guys are hitting him with the air attacks. They are opening it up. People are being hit on Sweden. Nazar rushes Rambone. He's going straight for the back. It's Vitalini, all alone, surrounded by five, and got taken out. Score is now 38 to 50. This is a tense battle, it is. The bag is still in the hands of Sweden. They thought they had it, but the bag is still for Sweden. It's going to be a close call. With just one minute to go, Sweden better step up their game, because losing another time, if they have the bag, might end up in them losing the whole battle. Airstrike, pushed in by Nazar. Another airstrike. John Doof with the missiles. Almost the whole Sweden team has been taken out. Nazar has been poisoned. He's trying to run away. Ooh, 
This is close, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. The bag is in the hands of France. They have it. But the score is close. The score is, oh, it's even. 16 seconds. 16 seconds. Will they pull it off? Or will they foolishly give away a score? Are they going to pull it off? Ooh, even score. Oh, two seconds. No more time. Ooh, that was a close one. And Sweden takes the win with one point differential. One single point. That was close. That was a tense battle. Swiss Elite came out as the most valuable player in the game. RFC John Doof was the unstoppable killer. And RFC Iptan Master Assistants. Let's look at the scoring chart. Okay, Swish Elite was solid. Going out for more kills than death. Rambone, he was obviously supporting. Alkist, also in the supportive unit. Ritalini, must have been taking poundings. And Semich got killed a lot of times. Then we have the France players, where John Doof is obviously the most bringing in the score. Then you have Diasias evened out. Ipton evened out, Nazar had one more kill than a death, and Psycho, or should I say Psycho, had six deaths and one kills. It was a nice battle indeed. What a fight. Tense to the end. Like I told you, this is going to be a serious battle where these guys are, oh, they're actually evenly audited when it comes to the gear but in the end Sweden just pulled it off by pulling through a little bit more Yeah, so like you saw in the last battle, this is where team play comes in. And it doesn't matter if you have the bag and you have uh, everything set out straight to be in a single position and camping out. If the opponents have a strong strategy and they pull out the team play, they will get that back from you. And at the same time, you saw that even if you lose the bag it doesn't essentially have to mean that you've lost the battle Sweden really pulled it out in the end they were strong it was a long and enduring bag grab where France had the bag pretty strongly fested in the left rear side and Sweden then pushed Rambone got the bag, got stuck in the corner, but got pulled out, died, and then eventually Ritalini made it out with the bag. I think that was the big turning point in this match. And then in the end, you see how much that bag is worth just holding on to. So right now we're waiting on both teams to get ready and I'm waiting for the signal. And for all who have just joined in, I am Def from WTF Clan. Really strong and fun clan to be in. We just team up, go to team speak, play some tactical. Some players even play PUBG. You know, it's all about gaming and having fun in the end of the day. Right now we are at 
the Euroleague tournament where Sweden is playing against France and it is currently 1-0 for France or uh, Sweden, my bad. And the game you're watching is tactical, 5 versus 5 game with a high mechanic when it comes to different perspectives and how to play the game different weapons and situations you can get in Okay, here we go. Starting off for game two. Sweden versus France. Let's see how it goes. The first battle was intense. Both sides had their bringing in kick ass when it came to fighting. But in the end, it was a small differential. Swisher lead. Now on the other side, we have Nazar. It can turn out for the vehicles and an early strategy being chased down. Okay, so the center of the screen seems to have been clocked out with gas. These guys are playing a pretty strong strategy. And special leader's got the back, running backwards, being covered. Ritalini pops out the gas. Elkist is on the snipe with Ritalini. Someone seems to be holding back the French players. I don't know who it is. Asteroids being thrown. Back carriers being taken out. There we go. Let's put the in the showdown. Throws out the gas. Lamb bone with the airstrike. Let's push on our cycle, going into the corner. Ooh, this is lit. Special lead has been taken out. That is still in the hand of Sweden. We have RFC John Du. He's coming in with the machine gun. Lazar got taken out with the oh airstrikes. This is a lit battle. Ooh, Swish Elite was heavy on him there. Didn't give him any space to Get the rotor gun to run. Run down. Got taken out by a ten. I need to throw in the airstrikes. There they go. The score is pretty close. They got the bag out of that situation. Nazar has got the bag and he is on the loose. 
drum deep, stopping him. He is throwing in that machine gun heavy. It's just 55 seconds left. 10 points differential. What are the Swedish players going to do? They could not attack if they're smart. I wouldn't attack. I would just wait. Because, okay, they've already given away too many points. They have to attack now. There is no chance of them winning this without killing the other players. Swisher leaders pushing. It's gonna be tied. Three points. Three points. Ooh, there's going to be casualties. Oh, four points with 16 seconds. Oh, one point. It's a one point differential. Sweden needs to make a kill or they're going to lose. They're going to lose the match. Woo! A one point match. What is this? It's amazing. RFC Neazer came out as the most valuable player. RFC John Doof, most goals achieved. RFC Iptan, vehicle damager. Look at the scoreboard. Zara has the six kills, four deaths, 20 points. John Doof with the seven kills, four deaths, and 14 points. Iptan, eight points. Four kills, three deaths, and one assist. RFC Psycho, seven points, two kills, one death, and three assists. Diaz Iaz came out with four points, two kills, four, six deaths, and one assist. And then on the Swedish team, we have Swish Elite, 18 points, six kills, five deaths, and two assists. We have, what the fuck, Elkist, 13 points. 3 kills, 5 deaths and 1 assist. We have T.S. Ritaly with 9 points, 2 kills, 2 deaths, 0 assists. Rambone, 6 points with 3 kills, 5 deaths, 2 assists and same niche. 4 points, 2 kills, 5 deaths and 1 assist. It has been a clear one. Here we go again. So it is 1-1, one, one. Sweden has won, France has won, they both won with one point differential and here we go again, it's a death match in area 39. We have DSES and John Duvel going on the car, they got something planned. They are wrecking them with the car. They are totally haunting. Devastating. Ooh, even got covered before the car got destroyed. It's going to turn out to be a crazy bad rap, for sure. Elkis has got the bag, he's moving back, but... John Doof is pushing, got... Zoom's on him, got hit. Oh, this is lit. Sneaky air strike from the... From the left side, from Psycho. Okay, John Doof is going to push. Here come the missile attacks. Ooh, he took out two. The bag is open. And there is no one there to cover it. Psycho went for the bag, got stuck in a slow attack, and got killed.
scores 10 point differential outside. Vitalini just took out John Doof. Hit 10 is coming in. That's a suicide attack, man. That was suicide. Man, bone going straight through the gas. Sweden is attacking in a relentless way because they're actually trying to push. Okay, this is turning out to be a massacre where I think the French are actually losing their momentum. They're not regrouping or anything like that, they're just going in single line, a single place, being picked out. It's easy play for the Swedish. Ooh, John Duke with a heavy strike. is taking them out. He is wrecking them. Yeah, Bone with an air attack. It's only 20 seconds left. And the score has a huge differential. It's going to take a freaking miracle from I don't know where to save the French in this one. Could easily say that it's over. Well played by the Swedish. Strong back grab, strong defense till the end. This battle wasn't as close as the other ones, but there was some really nice fights in it. I have to give shout outs. Swish Elite being the valuable player. RFC John Doof, most goals achieved. RFC Iptan, vehicle damage. Looking at the score. Once again, Swish Elite and John Doof are on top for their teams, pulling it strong. Okay, so now again, when it comes to the Euro League, it's not about who gets most wins. You play five battles and the team who has the highest points in the end wins the whole thing. And they play five. So right now, um, Sweden has taken a huge lead. And it's going to be hard for the French to pull it back straight. There's two more battles to go. So they could, if they beat them now, if they beat them strong, with like 30 or 40 points differential, it would come down to the last battle. Or they would have to win two times with like 20, 25 points. But if Sweden wins it now in the next one with a huge differential, it's going to become an impossible battle for the French to win. And normally when you play a death match, it's all about just getting the win, getting the rating, getting the silver. But when it comes to the Euro League, you're trying to not get killed too much and you're trying to kill the enemy as much as possible, even if they have the bag. So the first two battles were actually well played by both teams, where they either won with one point or lost with one point. And in the last battle, I would say that Sweden played it much better than the French. Okay, here we go. Battle number four, Sweden versus France. So once again, if you just tuned into this and you're watching the stream, we're streaming tactical, 5 versus 5. 
multiplayer online real players sometimes mostly bots it's still a fun game and right now we're at the Euro League where Sweden is playing against France and it has been a tight thing up to now I have to say the last battle that has been played was for the Swedish Ooh. well this is going to be a non call because in this tournament only the death matches count so well this is just going to be an exhibition Woo! look at the airstrikes the friends aren't taking any chances heavily occupying Rambone coming in strong Katie Elkis and switch the lead. Ironic. You gotta watch the back for the missile fire. And they have cleared the zone. Three minutes and five seconds left for defense to keep it cleared. And only three minutes left for the offense to do something and hold one of these zones for 75 seconds. Looking at the differential in, in gear. Even though the French have like a lot of snack players, playing against the Slois in this mode would make it almost impossible for them to win. Okay, so the French have moved from B to A. They're going for a different tactic this time. Still being pushed. John Doe versus Rambone. Rambone takes the roll. He's off. He got cornered by two. French are rolling in strong. Regrouping. I think they're going for a B grab. There's two minutes left. They have to do something. Ooh, special lead. Pushing. One against four. He didn't stand a chance there. Here they go. Ooh, Semich with a sneak attack. Semich is poisoning them all. He has taken out almost all the French in this attack. Psycho is running for his life. Okay, it was a sneak attack. They were actually going for the other point. But they failed. It's somehow too hard for them to hold the point. Swiss Elite got toasted. I see one, two, three. Don't know what the French are planning, but if they want to do something, they're going to have to do it quick. They're running out of time and they're running out of gas. In this battle it isn't about the kills, it's just about holding the zone after you grab it. And that means standing in a circle. Most people would think you have to kill the enemies and keep them away from the zone. But if you're playing offense, it's all about just standing on the zone and clearing it. Like right now, the John Doof and Diaz Ias just wasted a grab by not going on the circle and giving Sweden a chance to recapture it. It's going to be your last chance. There's a lot of slow action going on. It's the last chance. And... Ooh, it got cleared. It is still in the hand of the friend. Get on the circle, right? What are you doing? This is gonna go in a circle. Oh, he just wasted it. They could still get it. Ooh, this is going to be a tight one. In the end, who would have expected this? He is sniping the heck out of them. He's just shooting them. Look at that. Airstrike.
Ooh, this is a close one. He isn't standing on the circle. Why isn't he standing on the circle? Got gassed up. He threw a grenade on his own. This is going to be a close one. With only 60 seconds left. I think Sweden has to come up with some sort of contraction to... To change the odds because... Oh. Yeah, I think this is going to be... Included. John Doof trying to push him for a last time, but I think it's too late because Sweden has taken this one too. It's just a waste because this game mode doesn't count. When it comes to the Euro League, only the dead matches count. Still, Rambo is valuable player, RFC Psycho, most goals achieved. RFC Iptan, die hard. Okay, so like I said, the new modes don't count, which was the zone control you saw in a while back. Only the death matches count in the Euro League. Still, it was fun to watch. They almost pulled it off in the ending, but Sweden just came out too strong with the slois. The French with the snack couldn't count to it, because in my opinion, they didn't have any land our emitters. Or anything like that. Okay, so here we go, hoping on a death match. And for all who have just tuned in, this is Euro League Sweden versus France. Yes, well, we're gone. And Dutch. Looking strong. Nazar is already in a clinch with Switch Elite. He is pulling in with the gas. Ooh, Psycho took him out with a handgun. Nicely done. Sweden is getting ready for the bag drop. Obviously popping smoke and gas all around the back. Air strike. Ooh. It's going to get tense. Alkis took the bag. Running out through the smoke. Being covered. Especially just running at him with the knife. Got taken out. Ram bone. Actually on the other side, playing defense. <coughs> Ooh, it's a tight one. Swish Elite rushes John Duke with the shotgun. Takes him out. Psycho takes out Semich. Ooh, special lead is on fire with the shotgun. He is just taking him out. Gassed up. This is turning out to be an interesting battle. Elk is still strong with the bag, holding it with Sloy, sandwich in front of him. We have Ritalini also with a Sloy and special lead with a Sloy. So that makes four Sloys. And the syndrome. This is going to be a really hard one for the French to pull through. If they don't counter the smoke, I actually deem it to be impossible for them to even stand a chance. So 
I think the French have a small advantage when it comes to the airstrikes because it clears out most of the smoke. But still, fighting against four sloys is a tough cookie. Ooh, Ritalini got taken out by Psycho's airstrike. Mazar has switched to his own Zloy, he's now moving in. He's trying some solo action there, one against three. He's using the gas, but it doesn't work on the Zloy, so... Ooh, he pulled out, he got stuck, got cut by a Swish Elite. Rambone, rushing. Oh, this one is over seventy five to forty two with three seconds to go. I'd say Sweden has won again. It was a strong one, but on cargo ship playing against Slois, you're going to need a counter for the smoke, or else it's impossible to win. Elkis was the most valuable player, RFC Psycho, the survivalist. Swish Elite, bare hands killer. And there we go. So it all comes down to this last match where I think if the France want to stand a chance they have to grab the bag from the beginning and win with a differential of at least 70 or 65 points. Either ways, winning is going to be tough and winning with that much of a difference in points makes it even a harder task to complete. Yeah, for everyone who's just switched into the stream, we are streaming tactical 5 vs 5 multiplayer online game and currently we are at the Euro League and it's Sweden playing against France. Four battles have been played out of the five and out of these four battles Sweden has won three times. France has won one with one point differential. And in the Euro League, it doesn't matter if you win or lose. The only thing that matters is the difference in points. Because you're trying to win with as much points differential as possible. And right now, I think Sweden has a big lead on the French. So for them to pull it back together and win, it's going to take a huge and strong game.
So right now we're waiting on the teams to get ready for the last battle of this Euroleague. And you can obviously see in these battles uh, the difference in the epic operators and how useful they can be or how incompetent they can get in some fights. But also important is that you have to be able to adapt to certain situations. In the last fight you could see that if you cannot adapt to situations where people use smoke uh, as the, to be playing with Sloy and gassing you up and trying to get close, if you cannot counter the smoke, you don't stand a single chance of getting to the bag. So, as I was saying, Snack is a pretty powerful epic operator, but in some situations, he is actually a little bit overrated. But then again, if used right, he can be just as deadly as any other operator in the game. It all comes down to the person who's controlling. So on this Saturday night, I say cheers friends, everyone out there. If you haven't installed the game, better install it fast because you're fucking it up. This is a great game with great potential. Okay, something seems to be up because we're waiting on I don't know which team. It's a small delay. That's okay. Okay, here we go. The last and final battle this Euroleague, Sweden versus France. Let's see what's going on. The last two battles have been in the favor of Sweden. I would say heavily in the favor because yes, as the driver. Special lead has already snuck out with the bag. He has the bag and is moving to a better position. He's taking the left corner in the buildings, looking strong. Vitalini is flanking them.
and it's 1412. Ooh. Okay, still running about making the mark. Swish Elite still has the bag. He is almost down. So they're still using the same tactic. Still playing with a lot of slows. Rambone first is John Doof. John Doof gets him with the roto gun. There's not enough obstacles to hide behind. Wide open. Okay. Rambone coming in with. He's got the sloy. John Doof again with the roto gun. Ooh, Thomas takes out Rambone. Airstrike being thrown in by Nazar. Takes out a mine who takes out Ritalini and Sandwich in one strike. This is turning out to be something. Oof, yes, yes, get taken out. Psycho versus Ritalini. Ritalini takes him out. Sweden again playing very strong. Playing a very, very strong game from the beginning up till now. They have had the bag the whole match. <clears throat> Ritalini throwing out the poop sign. You, you know it's on now. He has thrown it out. It is out there, mate. He's calling you guys poop. You have to do something now to redeem at least, you know, kill something. Oh, Ritalini is rolling in heavy. John Doof gets revenge. They are really taking it personal. Three against one. Nice odds. Really strong play. Ritalini comes back out of nowhere. Rushes. Takes his revenge on John Doof. Throws a gas grenade on him. Takes out Psycho. Ritalini is really on fire. Throwing out the poop signs. He doesn't care. Because it's already over, almost five seconds. <clears throat> well played by both the France and the Swedish. But the victory goes to Sweden again. Swiss elite, valuable player. RFC John Doof, unstoppable killer. RFC Neazer, vehicle damager. Let's look at the score sheets. Yes, well, it is obvious that Psycho and DSES were giving out too many points in this one, which led to a big differential. And actually John Doof was the only person who had a higher kill than death ratio when it comes to their team, so it would have been a hard match to get point differential. I would say after seeing the results of this battle and doing a little math in my head the win is probably going to Sweden anyway because they just outscored them but like I said well played by the Sw Swedish and well played by the French if you looked at the stream uh, well thanks for just you know checking it out give it a like subscribe so in the future when I uh, stream again you can watch the matches and you, you'll know, get a notification when I start the stream. For now, I would have to say, have a nice night. Because I am going to play my own games now. Looking at these guys, just got my fingers all tingling. And I need to get into some serious action.
So for now, I would say everyone have a nice night, enjoy the weekend, and see you next time for the next streams.